thank you so very much this afternoon for joining us on the John Mayaki Show. Um, this afternoon, we want to consider the topic uh, 2023 presidency. We want to look at those pretenders who bought the form the, in the APC for 100 million pretenders. Um, and we also look at the pretenders in the PDP who also bought the form for 40 million era. And so this um, show, we see it as a gift for their party. So we're discussing the pretenders who gifted their parties millions of naira, depending on the party you are in. In the APC, they bought their forms, nomination forms for, for 100 million, while in the PDP, they bought around 40 million thereabout. Uh, uh, we are going to be discussing these pretenders. Today is not for the contender. There are a lot of persons who certainly are in the race because they want to contest uh, the election. But certainly there are a lot of other guys who are not in the race. We have seen those people who um, they bought the forms for. You know, it's, a, it's another style of um, purchasing form because of EFCC, because of, uh, oh, I'm not interested, I'm not contesting, but you secretly give money to some guys. Uh, you can call them Fulani Hessmen. You can call them um, the Northern uh, guys. You call them any name, whatever you call them. You, you call oh, my, a, a group of friends or you, whatever name you call them, you just give them the money and you pay their transport, you, you, you give them some money to, you say, purchase the form, even though you are not interested in the race. We saw what happened to the, to, um, the Akiwumi Adeshina who, who pulled out of the race. Um, some guys bought form for him. We saw that of good Lord Jonathan, who also said, oh, um, he's not in the race. Uh, we, we've seen a lot of other guys who bought, uh, some ministers who bought the form, uh, unfortunately, wouldn't want to resign. Of course, that is a gift, isn't it? Is it because they didn't think through the decision before they bought the form? Something of that nature. Some other guys are saying, oh, I've bought the form, and they later re realize that I have, a, pre I have a, a ministerial position to keep. Um, it's not certain for me if I leave this office, I cannot get the presidency. Um, I think I need to keep this job. A hundred million, no problem. You can, APC, you can keep that. That is a gift, isn't it? And you begin to ask yourself some questions. Um, why the rush into that race? You, you didn't think through before you bought the form. People like Ingige, they, they bought forms and then I'm not sure they want to leave the system. They refuse to resign. We have seen the, the, the Attorney General of the Federation who was said to be interested in um, the governorship race in the state. Uh, he, 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 he refused to resign. He said, no, I want to keep this job because of this reason, because of that reason. The question is, uh, so that, guy, that guy shared some vehicles the other day. He also said it's not the one who bought the vehicle that his friends, his NGO, bought the vehicle and um, they shared it. I mean, uh, quite interesting in this country. In the midst of poverty, in the midst of um, inflation, in the midst of penury people are dying of uh, hunger here and there some guys just sit down and get 100 million somewhere and say uh, give it to them i want to buy the phone unfortunately they are not interested in this um, race quite unfortunate and um, some say they just want to make impression on the apc presidential dashboard they just want their name to appear on the in the history of apc that i i, I was an aspirant certainly not a candidate I was an aspirant. My name, I bought the form. Or they just want to raise money for the party to do what they need to do. Or they, they think, oh, if the party wins, they could be considered for ministerial position. I think they all know the reason why they are doing all of those. Um, what do they really want? That is the question. What exactly do they want? And why such an unwieldy number for, for the party? Just for one office. I, I, of course, I'm aware the APC is going to, of course... Um, uh, put in some mechanism to wheel them out so that uh, they can just arrive at uh, one or, or at the end of the day uh, one will emerge but how that one emerge to is another different ball game okay um, the question again is that has the presidency become an all commerce affair everybody wants to run everybody wants to run i mean some persons just uh, they, they just pick the form and they, they want to also run for the uh, uh, commerce affair, everybody picking form. And what is the motivation? What is exactly the issue motivating these guys to run for the presidency? These are some of those questions that uh, some of us are beginning to ask ourselves. Um, it, could it be for the love of the country? Oh, they so much love the country. It, so, the Minister for Labour, Labour and um, 
uh, productivity or the, of unemployment, uh, Chris Ingige. Um, for me, at, at the time, the ASU is on strike uh, and the issues are unresolved. The Minister for Education, too, the same thing to him. You, you spent, I mean, morality doesn't tell you that in the society in which you are, this hundred million, even if you have it, you shouldn't do that. You should be concerned about ASU and our students, how they can return back to school before you think, or, no matter how, your interest should be, should be subsumed in the, in, in, the, in the interest of the generality of the country. If the students are on strike, schools are on strike, ASU is on strike, and you bought from 400 million. I mean, a lot of things, personal aggrandizement, or exactly what is it? Why are they interested? Is it for just pursuit of ambition? Or how many of the aspirants actually have the capacity to to manage a complicated country like Nigeria? Those are some of those questions we should ask ourselves. Nigeria is a complex uh, country. How many of them, even as governors, were able to manage their states? Those who, who, who are aspiring. How many of them, as governors, uh, uh, won seats? How many of them, as ministers, have a member in APC, in PDP, in their state house of assembly? How many of them have councillors in their, in their own state, in their local government? What is their route in their state? And so sometimes when I see pastors leaving the church, leaving the U.S. to come and contest election in Nigeria, I do not blame them because, oh, he has no, he, he's not a known APC member. He, he doesn't have uh, the, the, the reach in APC. He has not been a member. Or who tells you a, a minister who doesn't have a member in the State House of Assembly, in his own constituency, in his own ward, in his own local government, he, he doesn't control the local government council. He doesn't control his councillor. And you uh, just oppose that with the pastor, say, for instance, Pastor Tunde Bakari, um, and um, say, for instance, Rutimi Amichi of River State, um, with crisis in his own state, and um, Pastor Tunde Bakari. Oh, Tunde Bakari is a pastor, of course. Rutimi Amichi is also a minister, but nobody controls anything from their own state. They don't. So, we want to find out, um, in the ruling party, how are they going to manage this whole, this unwieldy number of persons who wants to take over from the president? We, we need to know, because if it is not for the love of the country, as we have seen, if it is for the love of the country, I will insist, since I bought the form, I'm going to run this race. But because uh, it's for personal aggrandizement, it's just for selfish interest, so you decide to buy the form, but I'm not going to resign. I, I prefer to stay in this job that can still last me for one year uh, than uh, a, a project that you are not sure of. And so today we, we, we are considering this topic. We have seen APC presidential aspirants who mainly bought forms uh, for reasons best known to them. Um, and uh, we have also seen some others who, both in the PDP and the APC, who do not see the need to traverse the country to consult the league. They just bought the form. They sit down there and waiting for the election to come. I mean, are you begin to ask yourself, these people, is it not a delegate election? If it's a delegate election, who are they expecting, how do they expect the votes to come? They, they, they are not going anywhere. They just bought the form and they sit down there at home. And they, some, some of them are on TV, talking, on channels, on Arise, on AIT, on, T, on the TVC, on... Um, they are there, they are just talking, and they are not. Some of the, some, the contenders are actually going around the country and they are talking. So, we are going to be discussing these guys who sit down there and expect that um, uh, by buying the presidency, uh, the president will anoint me. But again, if the president annoys you, how, uh, what, what, what about the consent? Before you arrive at a consensus, assuming you get anointing, there, there's going to be a process. Is it that direct primary, indirect primary, or a consensus? And for you to even think of a consensus, you need to, there's a process for it. And so you, 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 you are not talking to delegates, you are not going around. We will classify you in this program as uh, a pretender because we doubt how you want to achieve or prosecute this project. And so uh, we've got some guys who are confused, uh, ministers 
who wanted um, the ticket, who want to contest, but unfortunately, they don't want to resign. Th th those guys want to eat their cake and have it. Um, those are some other guys who are looking. So, ahead of the presidential primary of the APC, for instance, uh, the men are being uh, separated from the boys, like we have done today. We are going to separate the men from the boys. Today, we are discussing the boys, the pretenders. Um, um, the, the, the rush to get the ruling party's ticket by these pretenders is quite funny. They, they rush to get the ticket, and but they are not willing to to leave the the. They, they are not willing to go talk to the delegates to say, guys, uh, I need your vote. If you are there watching us, the lines are there open. Talk to us on the John Mayaki show and let us discuss this whole thing together. Let us unpack this um, uh, topic together. Um, the victory for APC will determine uh, will determine the success of uh, the Buhari's uh, uh, administration because, uh, of course, the Buhari cannot ev even, if he appoints or anoint anybody, I doubt if um, such a person, because the mood of the nation uh, does not seem like um, we want to continue the Buhari administration. We, we have seen that. Of course, there are a lot of um, good things this administration has achieved, um, but some other guys are saying, no, if the president annoys you, it's going to be difficult. We are not sure we want to vote for you. Um, we have seen aspirants who are banking on their solid political base across the country. We have seen others who are in the race for different reasons, apart from winning uh, the, the, the election. So, as we as with every political circle in Nigeria, during and during electionary period, there are always the real contenders and pretenders. The same scenario is currently playing on both in the APC and in the PDP. Where there are those who are genuinely interested, we, we understand a lot of them are interested and they have a political, solid political base um, angling to succeed the president. Others are just there to make up the number. One of those people who we think um, um, is not um, so serious about this race is um, Dr. Ahmed Lawa. Ahmed Lawa is the Senate president who we think um, it, it doesn't look um, like someone who is serious in the race. Some other persons are saying, oh, um, they, they say, there is a northern agenda going on and Ahmed Lawa looks like... Um, somebody who they, they can promote to get the ticket. Some others saying, oh, there is this Jigawa governor too, who is saying he's going to be either Amechi or himself, and that there's no contest between himself and Amechi. And so the Jigawa governor is also thinking, that is Badaru, is also thinking of himself being the, uh, the, the next uh, person to succeed the president. And that is a northern agenda, if you ask me. And uh, there's other guys in the north, there's this other Yarima, the the Sharia man uh, in Zamfara is also interested in um, there's this northern agenda going around these days. Um, in PDP in APC, Atiku wants to have it. You have Saraki wants to have it. You have the Bauchi State Governor also wants to have it. But some of these guys are actually not going around to talk to the delegates like Ahmed Lawa we are discussing now. He's in the presidency. Uh, it was a rumor when the news broke that, oh, he, he's interested, he's interested. In, but, of course, we have seen um, that he's actually interested. Since he joined the race, he, he, he's not crisscrossing the country to who delegates, just like others who, who have been sitting down at home waiting for the D day to come or waiting for anointing of uh, Mr. President. Well, we um, those who know, maybe they, they tell us, yes, the Senate, uh, they made the, 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 the law, uh, that is the electoral bill and the act, and so they are thinking that um, the senators who have a large chunk of, um, of the vote will um, support the Senate president to, to emerge. That is the calculation from some end. We have seen Oju Zokalo supporting the idea. We have seen some other guys who are also in support of that idea. And um, we've also understand that um, since he joined the race, he, he's not, um, like we say, he's not crisscrossing the country because he, he, he is one of those guys who believe that um, the thing will land on his lap even uh, when uh, he's at home sleeping. Um, his confidence, though, we don't understand from his backer. Those supporting him, we don't understand their confidence. Um, uh, those people close to him can, can tell us uh, how they want to achieve it. We don't know. Um, he doesn't need to woo the delegates before he gets it. I'm sure that is his thinking. Or maybe it's just a reflection of his nature and how he treats um, 
um, issues of uh, importance. Look at the way he handles issues at the National Assembly. People see his presidency as um, an extension of the federal government, of the executive, uh, as an appendage of the executive. That, that, that's what people describe his, um, uh, his, um, that is the, the Senate now. The Senate. People see it as an appendage of the executive. And so um, the, the president may want to say, oh, Mr. Lawal, thank you so very much for the work you're doing. Thank you. Okay, we give to you the presidency. Uh, if that is how this country is going to be. Um, okay, let, let's listen to this guy. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Your name and where are you calling from? Okay, this is Honorable Shego Okonga Jr. coming from Igal Akokode, local government area. Thank you so very much. Your contribution to the discussion, sir. Okay. Anyway, I am also contesting for Akuko the Federal Council as of Representative under the platform of AE Action Alliance. Well, the pretenders who gave millions to their political parties, well, as I see it, as a politician, I see it, uh, in the involvement of our national democracy, I will be brief because. Maybe there may be no chance to really digress. In the government of an African democracy, which has survived just very little period of time, as compared to American democracy that has survived over 265 years, the Nigerian politics and politicians are unstable. Why? The, the meetings of the government treasury have become a culture. The embezzlement of the people's fund has become a culture. The shopping authorities by the politicians have become a way of life and this is where i come in to see all politicians are dubious and nigeria's electorate to come and boot out all these dubious politicians all these embezzlers and make a new breed of politicians to come to power thank you thank this you is my all contribution right. all right thank you now uh welcome to call to say all politicians are dubious um, he is also a politician, I guess. Um, if you say all politicians are dubious and you are a politician, you, you may also have counted yourself as uh, being dubious. That's okay. Thank you so very much for that contribution. And so uh, we, we, we said uh, Ahmed Lawa, the senior president, um, everyone is waiting to see how he will emerge. Um, he has uh, bought the form, he's into the race, but he's not talking to delegates. We, we don't know whether it's going to be consensus, it's going to be direct primary, indirect primary. We, uh, is the APC zoning to the north even? Is it, are they zoning it to the south? Is it going to be an all comma affair? We, we, we are yet to see that. And so we, we see another guy who, who is also into the race. He bought the form, Ibikule Amoson, former governor of Ogun State, and the senator for Ogu Central, Senatorial District. Ibukulam also comes to the race with, of course, credibility. He has a lot of credibility. And that is to some of us who, who, who see him from afar. Some persons who are close to him say, no, 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 he doesn't have this. He, doesn't have this. He, he, he comes to the race with nobility and a record of uh, performance. You know, as governor of uh, Ogun State, he, he, he did a lot of things and um, his entrance will not only divide the votes from Ogun State, as we can see, you know, um, uh, it's going to be, you see, the Ogun State, um, where you have the governor, the governor is backing the, the vice president, um, you have um, uh, Amosun also getting some of the votes from there because, of course, charity begins at home. Um, then the former Lagos State Governor, uh, Asuwajibola Lamentum, is also going to share from the delegates from Ogun State. And so, um, if you have these three guys uh, contesting for the, I mean, contesting for the votes that will come from um, Ogun State, is going to be. Um, um, some chunks going to these three guys. So um, the governor is seen now as a common enemy. The governor, don't forget, is not uh, um, a supporter of Asiwaju now because he, he now supports the vice president. And so um, at home for Ibikula Mosun is going to divide some votes from there, a little from there. Of course, but he is not going around to 
to, to appeal for support for his um, ambition. How he's going to achieve that, we are yet to see. Um, some close Ali, uh, some guys say he's very close to the president, but um, we are not sure whether even anointing can help anyone out. I'm also supposed not to just have deep knowledge of uh, politics and finance. Is combined this with um, executive and legislative exposure, being former governor, being in the Senate, you know. Okay, let's take this call in. Hello, good afternoon. Your name and where you calling from? Hello, Hello morning. Morning. Your name and where you calling yeah. from? Yeah. My name is Steve. Okay. Um, you need to shift away from where you are watching from. Your phone is too close from to the guest gadget you are watching from. Okay, I think I have shifted. Okay, go ahead. Yes, uh, it's an interesting topic. I've uh, been listening to you for some time now, and uh, I think uh, there's a lot of interest going on as far as the uh, uh, as aspiration of these people are concerned. Because uh, up to now, some of us who have been followers of uh, political development have not been able to deduce what exactly is going on in APC right now. Uh, a situation where you have almost everybody wants to contest for one position and if a leader that one will have expected that they will come together and uh, even if they are going to confess or decide on one person so those same people who will sit down to decide on one person are the ones contesting <laughs> so I think, I think uh, there is confusion somewhere somebody needs to come in to help uh, uh, to help us uh, solve this problem <laughs> thank you uh, yeah, because initially we were, some of us were of the opinion that uh, they probably want to maybe the gang up, the gang up uh, that uh, led to the removal of the former chairman, Comrade Anderson. So more is what is the playing out, and uh, we think those who were the actors then, and we were thinking, okay, if those from the south, from the southwest, who actually had this aspiration and uh, did this uh, gang up then. Uh, these other people wanted to help him. Uh, from what we have seen now, even himself is struggling now. So we knew what the role some of them played, and we are believing that, okay, they want to stop as well by all means, and for that reason, that is why uh, many of them are coming out. And I expect that by now they will be stepping down for the particular candidate that they wanted. Even the one who played the major role in removal of the uh, comrade that was equally confused in this game. So, uh, all of us are confused, so we are waiting uh, at this moment to we'll see what will play out, and we hope that by the grace of God, the leader of the party, the president, will be able to intervene and uh, talk to these people not to destroy the party, because the party is most important to us and all of these aspirations. Thank you so very uh, much. Uh, we appreciate this call. We appreciate. It. Thank you. All right. Thank you so very much, Mr. Steve, for that call. Everybody is confused where the party is going to those people who are supposed to be the leaders of the party uh, uh that can that should settle ev all the dispute are also contesting you see you see what we are saying and so we don't know how the bicular muscle is going to prosecute this um, ambition it's not going around it's not talking to anybody and um, we, we are afraid um, of course, the issue in the West, in the Southwest, is also uh, another issue for another day. We'll, we'll look at that. So we have another senator, uh, Senator uh, Jai Boroughis. I think that senator is from Ondo State. Yeah, Ondo State Senator uh, Jai Boroughis. He's also in the race, incidentally. Um, he, of course, he, he submitted his form. He's not part of those people who, who, who also want to. We will see at the end of the day if he's not gifting the party the, the hundred million too, because. Yeah, submitting the form, buying the form and submitting it is not the issue. Will you, are you ready to prosecute this project? As in, go around the country and talk to delegates. Because you accept that there, there's, there's a game somewhere. Some of these guys are playing to say, okay, you step down. Five of us, ten of us were stepping down for a particular aspirant. So that everybody, all your supporters, all the delegates come. Um, let's give it to this aspirant. But does that win the vote? Will that win the vote? So, must you buy the form before you step down to say you're supporting a particular aspirant? I, I do not see the logic in all of those. Oh, it's okay, Senator uh, Ajayi Boroughface, you are welcome into the race, even though the misgivings about his decision to run 
uh, is here to subside um, is not going around. It's not talking to anybody. It's not talking to delegates. The fact that he has also crossed this um, line, the line of submitting his form, counts for him anyway, and um, also in many ways. Even though it has not uh, fundamentally uh, altered the subsisting belief about his aspiration and true intention. Yeah, you know, when you want to contest, you talk to Nigerians, uh, why you want to contest, what you can do better, what the president is not doing. But there's this campaign around those who are actually seeking the support of the delegates. Oh, I, I will build on what the president has done. Uh, it, sometimes it backfires. Oh, uh, on security in six months, I'm going to. If you are in APC and you campaign that in six months, especially a minister to campaign that in six months, in one year, you will solve the security situation in this country. And you sit in the Federal Executive Council and um, you tell us in one year, six months, you want you solve the security situation. I mean, why don't you also sell this idea to the president? Even as an APC member who, who is contesting, you want to solve all of this within a, a period. And you think the president has failed. As an APC member, you are simply telling us, Mr. President failed or he, he, he didn't do his best, so I can do it better. But I think, how many memos, how many, how many ideas have you sent to the president? Mr. President, you can do this, you can do this. Have you suggested, why you made ideas to the president to say, okay, on security, on economy and all of this issue, this is what you think is possible? And that the president didn't do them, and so you want to come into the race. So, you see, we have to be careful how we go around this campaign as APC, as PDP, so that um, now there is this other. So, as for Boniface, um, um, it doesn't look like uh, serious for a presidential race, if you, if you ask me. And so, we will classify him as um, uh, one of the pretenders. There is this other guy, Obunaya Ono. I mean, Obunaya Ono, the minister for science and technology and innovation yeah dr obunaya ono this is one of those names you, you, you we need to watch out for because don't forget the president said um is somebody in his mind that uh, if he mentioned uh people uh, is afraid for the life of that person it's okay people said oh, it could be that guy that guy is his friend that guy is his friend and the president wants to surprise the the Southeasterners that, yes, we want to give it to you guys. Well, if, if that is the case, why is uh, Oji Uzokalu, who is also a close uh, guy around the corridors of power. In fact, that guy is ready to sweep around the Aso Villa there, and uh, he, he, said, he said he's very he's ready to sweep. Or, of course, ready to sweep if you give it to the North, not if you give it to Ono. Ono, Ono, it's a pity. You need to talk to Bunaya, I mean, talk to Oji. Uh, the senator, so that he needs to support you. Uh, unfortunately, you are not talking to anybody, um, honorable minister. You are, not, you are not going around. You are not talking to any. How do you want to get it? If the president annoys you, uh, and uh, you are not talking to delegates, uh, we are afraid. We are afraid. Unlike uh, some of your colleagues, who, who your colleagues, yeah, who checking out. Some of your colleagues checking out. You are still there. You, are, you want to. You want to make sure you bring your aspiration to reality. Obunayano is not joking with uh, the demand for a president from the southeastern part of the country. However, for Nigeria and um, um, yeah, for Nigeria and um, Nigerians, um, we don't see him as um, somebody who is pushful. He is not doing more as much as needed. Uh, we have seen some other guys in the PDP who are from the southeastern part of the country who are going around the country. You are a minister. You, you want to represent your people. Or you want to be the president. You, you need to go around and talk to people. You need to make us see reasons why uh, uh, the delegates should vote for you. Why some still have reservation about the minister? Uh, it certainly will stand shoulder higher than the many of the contenders. Like the content, we have contenders in this room, but of course today is for pretenders. Um, people wonder why is he not um, like we said? Why is he not traversing the country? Who in delegates? You need to do that. You need to talk to people. Oh, don't, don't forget, we told you some guys are buying the ticket to say we are stepping down for another person. I understand that time will come that some guys will be stepping down very soon. There's this other guy, the former speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Dimeji Bankole. Bankole is considered as one of the jokers in the race. Yeah, people describe him as one of the jokers in the race and that uh, he's actually not going to contest. He bought the form. But why? Some other guys have also said this money put together by, excuse me, 
money put together by a, a particular aspirant and given to okay Dimeji you take um, you over there you take you take you take go into the race by the form and um, let's see how you guys can at the end of the day at the 11th hour you step down from the race 10 aspirants step down support so so person i mean all those politics i think um, they are old-fashioned politics <laughs> if you think um oh some guys say oh so that as um, delegates we know that so, so, so person they hold their delegates and they we're bringing our delegates to put together for one person it's okay but i don't think uh the major bank is not going around how he plans to waggle through the political landmines um and beat the heavyweights uh, to the game is another thing we need to see um there's this other governor who, who from this uh, from the north central governor yabelo of kogi state who is uh, into the race yabelo um uh, in the mutable spirit or she call if you say so in the race try for the job for the Buari's job i mean he wants to take over from the president he sees himself as the next president he's very confident very confident of uh, of uh, clinching the seat despite many things working and standing against his uh, plausible choice of uh, uh, taking over from the president yeah below uh, if you ask me a uh, decision to contest it's okay he, he argues that in the north north central there, there's no uh, body who has um, been president from the north central and that um, it's time you look at that of course it's not um, the guy who 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 preach um, zoning he, he, he sees himself as um, a nigerian anybody can contest but some other guys are saying no let us zone it to north central uh, people in the pdp senator saraki is also thinking of us oh, okay now there's this um on savory public perception about governor yaya Bello. people say he has not performed people say how he came into office to become the governor the election and all of those um people 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 i mean a lot of public perception about him of, um, as it's not uh, helping him but he, he, we saw his declaration the mammoth crowd we, he, i mean somebody oh everybody wants you to contest from the north some guys come from the southeast some guys come from the west yeah the below women and all of those we, we we've seen all of those but they will need to translate into votes from the delegates so um he, he needs to go around and um um he has uh, one interesting personality uh, he's one interesting personality in the race for the apc yeah if you ask me and um he and um he should not be taken for granted because that guy uh, some people are saying oh do you think it's like the kogi election where somebody has to die before you take over this is not kogi this is federal nobody is going to die you know you know how you came into the governorship race when um, uh, the former guy the guy during the primary died and um, he, he waggled this way can he so can he can he make that now we have although it's not traversing the country as um, others are doing to converse for the support of delegates we can see his adverts everywhere yeah yeah yeah, yeah below is um he's talking to people if you if you say it's not going around the country if you ask him he, he says you okay um, i'm talking to delegates you see my adverts on television you see jingles here and there you see i mean he's, he's in the media talking so um uh, but if that is what it takes to secure the votes for the for the for the white lion of Kogi, you know it's the white lion, white lion of Kogi. We're waiting to see how that translates to how the materials uh, on TV translate to or convince the delegates to vote for him uh, during the during the national convention of the party. Now, um, if you are there watching us, feel free the lines lines to call are there on the screen. Um, call us and, um, and share your thoughts with us on the pretenders for the Buhari seat, the pretenders who have donated some millions of money in the pretext of uh, buying for. Is it that they have done this? Is it that we see it as donation or as. Um, I, I don't know what to call it because you, you donate 100 million or you, you buy a form for 100 million and yet you're not contesting? I mean, what do you call that? There's this other governor from a boy state, David Umahi. He's also in the race. David Umahi is in the race. He tells you he's in for justice. He's, he said he's in for justice. He wants equity. You know, he's from the southeast. <laughs>
Okay, we'll take this time and we will continue. Uh, hello. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Mr. Okele Valentine from Edo State, Owa mm -hmm. West. Okay. Your contribution, please. Sir, uh, as you said, those people dying for those people dying for more blood million. I I discover we need to let them know the truth. Why? Because doing that is not helping the country. Crisis here, crisis here and there in the country today, the people are not happy. We need a vibrant man, not, not people with old age. We need a vibrant man that can move Nigeria forward. Because Nigeria now needs a, Nigeria needs the youth. Nigeria needs a man that can, that can stand and take Nigeria to the highest level. Why? Because seeing crisis happening here and there, here and there, here and there. Let's just even say the fact. Where is not the problem of Nigeria? People around here, they are the problem. Why? Because they are not giving the, the president the truth of the picture of what is going on. So, those people buying from, they are seeking for future appointment. They are not there to contest that position. They are not buying that from to seek for future appointment. So, they may say this sort of person buy from, let's give him this appointment for this for the hundred million that he, he used in buying from. So, we need to tell ourselves the truth. They need to encourage Nigeria. If we are doing this and we are behaving like this, Nigeria is not going forward. Nigeria is not going forward. Thank you. We need to do things to ourselves the truth of everything in Thank the you. country to live. Thank you. Because of a lot of things that be happening. Thank you so very much. Let's be sincere to ourselves. Let's, let's forget about money. Money, money politics is what is killing Nigeria today. Money politics has killed our country. Thank you so very much, my brother. Yes. We appreciate this call. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. The guy is saying that um, the guy is buying this form for 100 million, 40 million. They, they are queuing for appointment. They know they are not contesting their queuing. And so we talk of uh, David Umahi, a boy state governor. He's interested. He said um, he's in the race for justice. He wants justice for the Southeasterners, justice for um, the Igbo nation. He wants equity and fairness. And you know, that is what the, that is what the Igbo people have been contesting for. Uh, the Igbo people are saying that um, they want so, 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 and so, with the Igbo's demand. And so, we have, we, we have this guy in the race. And so, we, how, how he's going to win this race um, is another thing. Interestingly, he has some good record of performance. After serving a boy governor for nearly eight years, um, is there as governor? He has good performance. A lot of people have said he's performing and all of those. But how far his record of um, relative, uh, relatively small boy state can 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 take him um, is yet to be seen. And so a boy state governor is not also talking to people. Is not canvassing for vote. Some say he's merely interested in becoming a senator. Some said he has bought a, a senatorial form. And, um, and no wonder it's not conversing for votes. Is there in the race? Um, of course, he doesn't have the support of um, some other guys from that from the eastern part of the country. Even in APC, he doesn't have the support. Um, so one would think that the South Tanans, the um, the for instance, the South Eastern guys, will come together and say, all of us were supporting us. Some of them are supporting. Um, uh, the northern guys and uh, of course so we'll see how that pans out the guy is not going it's not talking to people um we have seen a uh, ruchas okocha i mean um that one my people my people my people my people he's contesting he's, 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 he said he has a solution for the problem of nigeria he most state uh, for my most state governor ruchas okocha we saw his declaration we have seen some videos we have seen adverts here and there I mean, the senator is in the race, he wants to be president of Nigeria, and this is about the fourth attempt he's, uh, 
is uh, taking a shot at the, at the presidency. He might come off simple and sociable, is equally of a serious and progressive standing. Oh, don't forget, he has this uh, running battle with his state governor, the Imo state governor. Um, he has EFCC here and there pursuing him up and down. He has a governor running after him and all of those. I mean, could that be the reason why he's not talking to people across the country? He's not traversing the state, the countries, the country and the states and uh, trying to talk to people. He means well. He, he, I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a business-minded person and he's determined to give his all to, 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 to the country. Um, uh, I mean, that's not all for a candidate to emerge anyway. He also, of course, from the Igbo extraction, mm, He's not talking to people. He's not going around. How does he hope to prosecute this um, project? I mean, that's another issue for us. Uh, for him, anyway, for him. Um, we have another man, uh, the Minister for State for Education. Unpredictable. Very unpredictable. Honorable Chukwemeka Mwajuba. Um, Mwajuba is in the race. He's there. He, 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 he's a minister. He's the minister for state for education. He resigned. And that guy, he meant business, isn't it? He bought form. And he was the first to resign, isn't he? Yeah, one of the first ministers to resign. Before the, the president told them, guys, if you're interested, go and resign. And then uh, Ngigi said, oh, like Mohammed has broke this news to us. No, he was there. He was right there at the Federal Executive Council meeting. But if he needs to go back to the president to reconfirm for the president, Mr. President, is it true you want us to go home? I mean, the guy, at, at the end of the day, when he got the clearer message, no, 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 I'm not going to resign. I, I want to stay in this job. Um, uh, presidency, it's okay, I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> Mr. Gigi, that is quite funny. It's okay. Wanjuba, it appears uh, to be one of the gross guys um, who is interested um in taking over from the president it's fine it's fine he sets the pace for others uh, in many uh, respects it's okay uh, we want to appreciate what he has done and uh, yeah, it's an indication what he did is an indication that is not in the race it's not uh, in the race to to while away time no he, he, but yes you resigned as minister you want to contest yes others have to follow suit you set the pace fine well, is he going around to talk to delegates? That is yet to be seen. He obtained his form first and was to, and was the first to resign after the president handed the order. He submitted his form quickly as possible and I was ready enough to go ahead. Well, Mr. President, um, yeah, it's okay. Okay, um, he's waiting for screening. He is following the rules and setting his own standard. Whoever on the race this Sautana will do so at a huge cost. Some other persons are saying that. Is that true? In addition to the fact that um, some Northern, some Northern allied seems to have a thing for him. One thing. I see. He's not talking to delegates. not going around. Okay. One other guy that's not going around is um, the Minister for Niger Delta, um, the Minister for Niger Delta, Senator Goswil Akpabio. If you are watching us, call us. The lines to call is right there on the screen. Call us. Share your thought with us. Pretenders. How do you want to achieve this? I, did you buy the phone because you want to step down for somebody else? If that is the case, simply campaign for the person. It's as easy as that. Uh, this is my person, this is my candidate, I want to campaign for this person. You don't need to go and purchase a phone for 100 million. You can do some other things with 100 million. And, and value. All right, let's pick this up. Hello, good afternoon, your name and where you're calling from. Good afternoon, my name is Steve, I think what you are called earlier. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm calling back, I, I think I'm interested, I actually want to be part of the program hospital today. And uh, earlier we I talked about the South West and now that we are in the South East, I feel it's necessary that uh, I call again too. Uh, the issue of the South East, uh, uh, it's one of the major challenges that I think the South Easterners need to sit down and uh, resolve. Uh, uh, they are, they, they, they seem not to have a, a headway politically. We have a region where you you every four four years you come up to complain that you're marginalized politically. But one would have expected that by now they will be able to sit down as a region and decide what they want. You don't cry foul, you don't you don't cry pity to a 
that you are crying unnecessarily to expect people to pity you. You 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 work for this thing. You go for it if you want it. Okay, just imagine a situation where all those Okalu is ready to sweep for a, 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 a south uh, north easterner. If the south east cannot be will not be given the power, then the south uh, the south uh, the north east should be considered. If that is a, to me is a defeat already. That you have even accepted that uh, the South East will not be given. You've not even got into the seat. You are already complete. You've already reneged. You've already pulled out of the arrangement and you are now ready to, to, to support somebody from uh, another region. And here you have almost everybody buying some from the South East. And you just want to sit down and expect the president to say, I'm anointed somebody from the South East. To me, I don't even think the South East deserves the ticket of APC. Because you don't go and get something from where you didn't labor. They should be clamoring for a presidency from PDP and not APC. <laughs> and if they think, yeah, if they think APC needs to give them ticket, then come and support APC this time around, and you'll be considered. But for now, you didn't work in APC, so you don't expect that APC will not decide to allocate their tickets to you. So on what basis now? On the fact that you are crying, on the fact that you are shouting that you've not been considered, Nobody consider you. People work for it. Was there anybody who ever sat down in his house and they went and brought him out as the ticket of the presidency? No. People aspire. People go for it. So let the South Easterners go for it. Let all the Indigay and his group go back and sit down and think of what they want to do. What they want. They should be able to agree on what they want as Easterners. I'm not uh, telling people looking for who will come and give them tickets and shout your magic. Everybody is marginalized. <laughs> at the South South, not marginalized. Everybody in this country is marginalized. So even those who are in power today are telling you that they are marginalized. <laughs> uh, some are playing the games of saying, okay, let us give it to somebody that will stand for years so that power will return back to us. That means they, they see they, they have something to balance up and that is why they are planning all of these uh, uh, tricks at the game. So everybody is marginalized. So if you see marginalized, go back home, sit down and agree with yourself what you want okay. and go for it. Thank you so much. Uh, that's my contribution. Thank you. We'll be expecting you to contribute again as um, we continue in the show. Thank you so very much. Okay. I'm the Minister for Niger Data. Well, a lot of people have a lot against you um, that you held the NDDC um, uh, in, uh, you, as in you held that office as the Minister and um, wouldn't allow the board to be inaugurated. That is a very serious um, accusation against you. Um, some, some traditional rulers are already calling for your head. Now that um, you are no more there, some guys have been arrested um, in, in connection to the NDDC project. Um, uh, some guys are also saying that you should get ready to be arrested. Uh, the minister, you are interested in the job. Uh, how come? How come there's a statutory board for NDDC, you refuse to inaugurate that board under the pretext that um, there's a, a forensic audit that needed to be carried out. And until that is done, the board should, should operate as a sole administrator. And with your collaborators from the north, off in the government, um, you, you succeeded. You're doing, you're doing. But don't forget that this government isn't going to run forever there's a time a time there's a timeline for this uh, for the administration this administration to come to an end and so for you to you need to do a lot of things to convince the people that you are running yes it was a, it was fun fair we saw that declaration you bought the form you have also resigned and all of those wonderful good outing but um, the minister doesn't seem to be on ground. The push is not there. It, 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 there's no meeting, there's no consultation going on from Akwabi. Nobody sees him uh, in the north, nobody sees him in the west, nobody is seeing him um, in, in, in the eastern part of the country talking to delegates to say, please, guys, vote for me, this and this and all that. Nobody, it's not talking to anybody. Akwabi needs some strong. So, some strong frontliners to, to champion his cause uh, if he must be taken seriously. Uncommon governor, uncommon senator, uncommon minister, I mean, uncommon everything. I mean, maybe that is going to be our uncommon president. Who knows? Akpabio. Um, Akpabio, um, whatever trick you think, you, you, I'm not. <laughs> Nigerians are worried about your ambition anyway. Uh, Goswil Akpabio. Uh, with records of outstanding performance as governor, we must give that to you. 
how be it largely superficial largely superficial that, that is what people say about your performance in office it's coming into the race with um, a lot of uncommon resolve uncommon resolve to change the face of the presidential run it's okay uh, good luck to you god thrill uh, pabio um, there's this other unknown person uh, barrister mrs uju kennedy onenye yeah onenye yeah um she's um, the only woman in the race and um not clearly not clearly clearly not a serious contender and so we classify her as um, one of the pretenders of course she, i'm not sure 100 million was what she purchased her form with i'm not too certain now so at least it's not up to 50 percent of um, that if it's not free she, she should pay some money you see um and then yes, he said um the only female here in the race of course she will be intimidated by the males you know um she has not made any attempt to woo delegates that that that, that, that is do, 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 does she have the capacity why is she in the race i mean i mean the the country is not to we don't say um, i'm not sure not even the likes of um Ngozi Okonjo Iwela, or Bieze Kweseli and those tough tough names we've had can can even say it looks like a male dominated um, race it's okay we wish you all the best as the only female aspirant in the race for the presidential ticket it's okay um she has fought a good fight so far and um, to the uh, to the surprise of many who are thought that she would have long fallen by the wayside at, at this stage nothing can be can be put past this woman because of her courage as she trudges uh, on yeah, um, her confidence and belief uh, in her ability to turn the tide are indeed notes for files. Um, but she's not talking to delegates. Is she waiting for anointing too? Does she want the president to anoint her as a? Will the president anoint a female to take over from him? Don't forget, the president wife has uh, has a position somewhere in the in the other room. And uh, that is the idea of the president. The wife uh, has a place in the other room, not in the office. So don't forget that. Um, it's okay. <clears throat> Pastor Tunde Bakari. I mean, 67-year-old pastor, prophetic apostolic pastor. <laughs> you know, he's been contesting. He's in the race to take over from the president. In 2020, in 2011, uh, he, he contested under the defunct uh, Congress for Progressive uh, uh, Congress for Progressive Change. Apart from the intermittent noise making the media, I mean, <laughs> Bakari is not known to be a strong APC member. It's not a strong APC member. If there was a list of people de deemed as likely to chicken out from the race, um, one name that most certainly be missing in that list is the general overseer of the citadel global community church which is the pastor tunde bakari he has not only been calling himself the number 16 to the office of the president succeeding buari buari is the 15th and he sees himself as number 16. as in the 15th president president buari he sees himself as 16. and so he he he, he tried call himself number 16 it's okay. It's not bad to be to be to be optimistic and um, to 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 wish yourself anything good you want for yourself. He has been working to realize it. How is he realizes this? It's not working for him. Yeah. If you want to be a politician, you you need to show some level of um, some of commitment, political commitment, and so. Uh, if you are there watching us, call us and uh, talk to us. Don't um, talk to us. We appreciate those guys who have been talking to us. Talk to us. Call us and talk to us. How far he will push, how far Bakari pushes his um, agenda uh, or project uh, is yet to be seen. Um, we saw his declaration, nice one, well packaged, but um, he needs to talk to delegates. Um, winning presidential election is not by prophecy, it's not by it's not by vision it's not by dreams no uh, this is not uh, morality there's no morality in politics you want to preach morality you have to stay in the church 
Of course, we want morality in politics, but there is none. There is nothing I can do about it. Uh, so, Pastor Tunde Bakari, we wish you all the best. We sincerely wish you all the best. And uh, there's this other guy, uh, Nicholas Felix Mwagbo, young, very young, and unknown, uh, of course, very unknown. He has, um, he has this uh, message for, for the youth, the second stage. You know, a, a, a U.S. based Nigerian, yeah, a U.S. based Nigerian. He's also a pastor at the Miracle Church International, Miracle Church International. He's the second pastor in the race uh, with Tunde Bakari for the APC ticket. Uh, whatever he intends to achieve with this, only time we tell. Um, for him too, he, he, you know, he's not talking to anybody. He's, he's not talking to anybody. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You see, you see, so a lot of things can happen with prayer. You know, somebody told me he can cure prayer. He can cure um, body odor with um, prayer. I said, oh, you don't need to take your bath and run some deodorant. Yeah, and these pastors, they can do some miracle. We want to see how 2023 pan out with a miracle from these pastors. You know, he is this guy who has his headquarters church in uh, New York. He has branches in New Jersey, um, Texas, Atlanta, and of course, Nigeria. Nothing is known about him politically, uh, especially in the political circles. Um, people will tell you he has no structure. Most of these guys who have mentioned have no structure anywhere. They have no structure. Their political history is blank. We have checked them out. There's nothing to, there's nothing. Yeah, some people say it's a clear waste of time and resources. You know, it's 100 million. Uh, it's okay. It's the owner of the money. But I think we can best invest that 100 million in something else. There's this uh, other governor from Ekiti State. The governor who wants, um, uh, Ekiti State Governor, Governor Kayo Defiami. Yes, Dr. John Kayo Defiami. Yeah. He told us um, he wants autonomy for a lot of things, autonomy, autonomy. But people ask, oh, in your state, uh, Mr. Governor, uh, there's no autonomy, autonomy for local government um, uh, councils. Uh, how do you want to do it? Anyway, this governor, he, he speaks a lot of English, a quiet, and uh, he's not quiet, you know, he's not quiet, but um, the dissent and all of those. The elitist guys and um, equity people feel. Of course, don't forget he has this guy there, Fire Fire He also bought form in PD, PDP. You know, and you see, they, these are two opposite guys. One is Amala on the streets, but this one, no, is is up there, just up there. He doesn't talk to people on the street. No, <laughs> very. It's okay. Uh, what type of presidency is he going to? It's okay. Don't forget. He is uh, the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, without doubt, a man of class, panache, character. You know, you know that is the president, you know, with tie. If he's going on native, he has to go with the cap and, um, you know, world class president. Well, for good one, speak quietly and uh, it's okay. Uh, if that we NU presidency, it's fine. And um, he has capacity, of course. Yeah, I mean, a PhD holder who has, uh, he has a lot of things going for him. And people say because he's the chairman of the Governors Forum, the governors are ganging up together to, just like the Senate president is planning, the senators, um, who they, they, they make the law and then they do some things in the Electoral Act and uh, to favor the Senate president and senators will just uh, vote for him as president during the during the delegate uh, election and all of those. The governor's forum are also planning to install one of their own uh, governor as um, as president. And so when you see Badaru, the Gawa State governor, telling uh, Amechi that it's either you or me, um, they see themselves that is either a northern governor, Badaru is say, I mean, these are cabal, these guys, they, they, they have calculation here and there. They calculate a lot of things that if it's not, if it's coming from the north, um, the senators are planning, the governors are planning. <laughs> now, if it's coming from this other end, uh, the, the cabals are saying, Amichi, what about you? Now, don't go to the west yet, we'll go to the, so Amichi, okay, you don't forget, this uh, Badaru and uh, that is Jigawa and Kebi. Um, one is fertilizer and the other is rice. You don't forget the rice pyramid and all of those. The these are cabal guys now. Don't for, it's okay. Uh, so, um, Kayo Define Me is one of those guys that um, is believed to be underground, um, working around some 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 strategies so that um, he will be anointed and crowned the successor of Mr. President. It's okay. Um, it's okay. He's one of those who has um, 
marked up the ranks and um, he bought the form he has declared nice declaration if you see the declaration you like it the in a round very different shape of uh, things during that declaration with traditional rulers with good i mean great setting it's good he has um, a taste of course he has a man of quality and um more so from the southwest people believe oh let's give it to the southwest let's give it to the south south let's give it to the southeast uh, kind of defy me thinking okay i can get the governors to work for me because i'm the chairman about can is it possible because you're the chairman of a nigerian governor's forum they simply will work for you call us and talk to us what is causing fire um fire fire me now uh, kitty state governor um now of course there's an election in his own state he will be leaving office and the um, election is going on there and there are crises here and there too will he be able to get the delegates from his state that is another question um yeah of course is he going around the country we are yet to see that but you know of course okay he can talk to the to the governors his colleagues on phone and say guys give me your, your votes don't worry you know me I, I will support you guys when i become president of course you guys can walk to me and talk to me you know you know you know see this fire me guy all right even though he has uh, kept his ambition close to his chest he has never pretended about it no he pretended about it sometimes he was asked on channel's television what is are you contesting ah oh, no, 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 no. you know these guys they, they say they have a way of um of a shine away from that question routine i make you don't forget um fire me don't forget they are very smart in shine away but of course they know they are contesting and suddenly you see them buying form <laughs> this man we ask you the other day if you are going to contest. It's okay. For Fire Me, the game is on and uh, is on the right track. How is he going to convince the delegate? Is he going around? No. Uh, so we we don't see him in the among the contenders. We don't see Fire Me among the contenders. There's this guy from the southeast too, uh, Ken Namani. Ken Namani is renowned largely for killing the third term ambition of uh, President. Olushego of Basanjo, um, former senator, former senate president. Kenamani is another face of the Southeasterners who, who is in the race. Um, people say don't take him for granted. Yes, is he doing his best to? He has capacity, of course. He's got experience. He's got maturity, and uh, there are a lot of things to show Nigerians that um, he can he can surmount the challenges. Uh, despite his personal inadequacy, he, he shouldn't stop getting a deserved mention until it is over. Is he talking to delegates? Is he is he moving from one state to the other, talking to people? Um, I doubt that. I doubt that. Um, of course, that's the bad guy there, Abubakar Badaru, that governor. That, that, that one guy that you guys should watch out for is um, the Gawa State Governor. People see him as um, uh, one of the, you know... <laughs> closer guys to the president. He's a prominent and critical factor in some of the APC. Uh, he's in the power center of the APC. Very critical. You know, all those um, Iman Labuni, Shinanigan here and there. And, uh, all those things that you see happening in the APC and you think the party was going to crumble. These are the guys behind the, the fire means, the, the bad guys in the APC. He's a great guy. He's fine. He's okay. He cannot be pushed back as far as the race for APC is concerned. Quiet. He's not going around. He's not talking to people. You know, you know, you know it's those of us in the Southwest, in the South South, that think, oh, you must do this. You must read book. You must read all the books and be speak all the English and you must appear on TV. You must be. No, no, no. no. You see, he's not that guy. You know, you, you, have you seen him on TV talking to anybody? No, no, no. They, they are just home. They just say, uh, you see, have you seen the senior president talking to him? No, no, no. These guys just sit down somewhere. Uh, you know, they. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's one Nigeria. It's fine. He cannot be pushed back. And so, while the majority of the people think he's been in the race to negotiate the office of the vice president, it's okay. People think he's negotiating for the office of the vice president. Mimala Boni was also said to be negotiating for the office of the vice president. A lot of things, a lot of people negotiating for a lot of things. Who says the South, if the South mismanages their chances, it would, it's not likely to gladly take take it himself. He, he, of course, he told them, Amechi, the other day, that, look, Amechi, uh, the APC presidential primary is this. Is it that you, Amechi, or me, Badaru? There is no contest between us. That is, there's no contest between them. Uh, is it that Amechi or himself? I mean, I mean a governor, you know, don't, don't, look, don't take him for granted. He's one of the, the leaders of the Kabas, you know, you know. 
This is why the Jiga State Governor cannot be underrated. Don't, don't underrate those guys. They, they, they have their thinking and their plans uh, very close to their chest. You know, there's this guy over there. Um, there's Tani Yerima, the the guy from uh, Zamfara, the former governor of Zamfara State. Um, he has a presidential ambition. People say, ah, if you give him president, <laughs> you know, that guy is that not the Sharia guy? It's okay. <laughs> you know, he's the guy is the guy can do better. You know, <laughs> you know, Zamfara State, uh, former Zamfara State governor, Senator Sani Ahmed Yerima, great guy, great guy. You know, a lot of political observers have uh, yet to situate his um, ambition, uh, the context within which uh, he wants to contest. But from the from the time he, he obtained his form and to the point he submitted them, he has neither flinched, not fidgeted about what he wanted. He's right there. He's right there. Of course, you see him talking and them. Um, he clearly has some plans up his sleeve. You, you can't tell. You know, see these guys. Yes, you can't say, but he's not also talking to delegates. You see, it's one of one of those guys waiting for anything, or part of negotiation. Okay, let's take the call. And we'll be back. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Yes, right. So we are here. I promised I was going to call back when you get to another region. Now we are in the south, not west now, uh, where the and his group think that uh, they have the ownership of the APC. So whatever they say is final. Now, uh, what I don't understand, the, the, the confidence, the, 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 the effort train, the, the, the way these people see Nigeria, I don't understand. Now, the governor, who is not even known, outside there are a lot of, there are one thousand, there are a lot of people in Nigeria that do not even know that it's the governor like Badaru is. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know where he has that uh, that uh, popularity. I don't know what. I don't know on what ground he thinks that if he does not get the ticket, it is a lady that will get the ticket, and that one of them was a maid. Now, who already cannot be wearing that fellow in the state? In River State, if he starts today to contest for councillorship in River State, uh, and which is stand? Which will win an H hand down. Yet he wants to be president of Nigeria. So do these people even think that uh, the masses uh, have a role to play in this whole thing? Do they just think oh because they have the power today, they have the ears of the president, they have all what it takes in APC, so that automatically trans uh, translates to winning election. So if it is not uh, either of them then uh, nobody should be considered. I think these people are actually out to destroy the party. And this was exactly how PDP started. Uh, where some people were thinking that they were too, they were too powerful. If it's not them, it cannot be anybody. And uh, like our people always say, that the talk that is ready to go missing, no matter how much the owner blows the whistle, it will be the dog will not listen. Yeah. Some of these guys are ready to destroy this party. Yeah. And they are head bent on destroying the party because of their selfish interests. Yeah. So... Whatever happens, doesn't matter. As long as uh, uh, their, their position is not uh, is not agreed with, then the party can go. And yet you have the founding fathers who labored day and night all through the years to put this party together. And you think they do not deserve, they do not deserve to be listened to. So it is you or Amity. I Like I earlier said, I think uh, all of these things boils down to the president. The president needs to do something. Needs to arrest the situation as soon as possible before uh, it, it snowballed to something else. We want, we love this party, we want this party to continue to exist. In short, we cannot even afford not to have a, a APC right now. So, what the president will do for us and for the sake of the party is to please appeal to these guys to take it easy. Because we are watching both the followers of APC, the supporters, the masses are watching what these guys are doing. And at the appropriate time, they will react if they are not careful, if they are not called to order. So let the president, we are using this opportunity to appeal to the president. He should not keep quiet. He should call these guys to order if he actually loves this match. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate this call. Thank you so very much. <laughs> and so for Badaru, um, whatever whatever there are, all eyes on him, uh, all eyes on him to, to see how things pan out. 
Um, we look at another pretender here, uh, E.K. Obasi Mokelu. There's this um, guy who also purchased the firm for uh, one, 100 million. E.K. Obasi Mogal, Mok, yeah, Mokelu, Mokelu, a former minister of information and culture under, uh, that is during the late General Sani Abacha Junta. Uh, Chief Ike Obasi Mokelu was among the last to venture into the race for the APC ticket. Yeah, another hundred million gone there. I, I mean, do you, have, I've not heard this name in qu for quite some time apart from the um, uh, Abacha era, but um, he's already boasting that uh, his presidency uh, is, a, is, is quite sure and guaranteed. I mean, uh, and, uh, uh, it's okay. Uh, we'll let, let's see how he, he gets that. Uh, he is a man of honor, character, and integrity, uh, especially in the application of efficient and sustainable governance at all levels. And uh, he is promising efficiency, character, honor, and all of those. Whatever his game end is, the floor is open, and uh, at least for now, we is in the race. Now we we have also. Um, these are the pretenders in the race. Um, we will be taking the contenders in another session. This show um, wants to deal with the pretenders on its own. And so, um, subsequently, we will be dealing with the contenders, both in the APC and in the PDP. We want to appreciate all of you, those of you who participated in this show. We want to sincerely thank you. Um, until we come your way again, um, take care and bye for now.